Hey guys, it's Nicole, and this is going to be the first video back on my channel for 2017. And the first one that I'm starting off with is basically going to be a monthly series that's going to go throughout 2017 that I'm teaming up with Grace Tolman, also here on YouTube. I will put a link to her channel down in the description box, and basically each month we're going to put up a process video based on sort of monthly celebrations. So that's going to differ because we live in different climates, we have different families, different things that we celebrate, so each month is going to be a little bit different. But then there may be months where, say for December, we may end up doing Christmas layouts for December because that's what we are choosing to share for our monthly celebration. Uh, for me, January is usually a pretty slow month photo wise except for my daughter she um, her birthday is January 4th and we typically push her birthday two weeks just to kind of give everybody in the family a break from it being you know Christmas and it's just a lot of gifts a lot of chaos so we try to push it you know to the middle of January and that's sort of what we celebrate in January and then it occurred to me that I have not scrapbooked any of her birthdays so I decided to go back and do her first birthday for um, for this particular series. And her first birthday theme was Minnie Mouse, and we didn't do a whole lot, but I went through the photos, and what I d ended up doing was breaking the photos down into, I guess, the different parts of her party. And for this video, I'm going to be doing a double page layout where I've got mostly just a collage for my right page, but I intentionally left one of my photos blank. And this is going to give me a good area to um, to include some pattern paper, some embellishments, and maybe some extra journaling or a subtitle or something over here, something to sort of carry over the products onto the right page. But I didn't want to do like a complete double page. I had been kind of itching to use a 12 by 12 collage and with this many photos that's kind of what I tend to do. Um, and then the left page I did the same thing. I purposely left this area blank and I'm going to put some of my journaling here and kind of go from here. I already know that I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to put just like a happy birthday title here. I have a uh, like big die cut template that I have cutting right now that I just went ahead and designed myself and with it being a Minnie Mouse theme I knew going into it kind of what collection I was going to use oh and then this these are going to end up being separate videos but I just put two of these smaller photo collages on one print to save money when I was printing and then these are going to be two additional layouts that are going to kind of be companion layouts for this so this was sort of you know, the cake and that type of the celebration, and this was the gifts, and then this was sort of just family and everybody kind of being together. So that was how, in my mind, I chose to sort of split up the photos and the layouts. So I just went and pulled um, the Simple Stories Say Cheese. Now, this is the original one. I have yet to cut into it, so I never ordered the other ones. I may have a couple loose sheets from warehouse boxes and whatnot. So I pulled that, I pulled, um, I had some leftover sheets from a class that I had done at my local store, and this may be, so yeah, some of this is from Say Cheese too, but it's the same colors, um, pretty much the exact same palette, just different patterns, and then I had grabbed this at Hobby Lobby a long time ago, and it's the same papers, but I grabbed it, um, Mostly because I knew my daughter's first birthday was Mickey, my son's first birthday was Mickey, and I figured I can just kind of combine the two. And I may almost keep all of this together as sort of like a DIY kit until I can kind of chug my way through those um, photos. And then, because I haven't cut into this yet, all of my stickers are still in here, the photo overlays, which I may cut some of the elements off of that, and I will have to go back in and look through my stash and see if I have any of like the chipboard frames or the die cut pieces or anything that went with this. Um, but I did just kind of go through, 
Again, these are loose papers. But I did just kind of go through my drawer and I just grabbed mostly alphabets. So I found this black one, which was from a Halloween line. I grabbed a couple yellow ones. Uh, this one I grabbed because there was some uh, red elements on it. Um, this one again was a smaller black alpha and then I had found this um, Bella Boulevard one that has good like neutrals. And then I've got a sheet of white cardstock. Again, my left page is going to be more of a sort of traditional layout and then my right page is going to kind of just be a photo collage as my base. Um, and again, I still have to go through my embellishments, which I usually will kind of go digging for after I've got my paper and my photos down. But I did just do like a quick look through my stamps and my um, steel dies while I was over there. And I found this one that pretty much just kind of cuts um, fringe. So I pulled that thinking that maybe I can try to use that, see if it'll be kind of like a more playful element on there. Um, I pull this out all the time thinking that I'm going to use it and cut tabs and then I kind of forget. So I'm challenging myself to try to remember to use that. And then this I kind of like for stuff like this. It's good to kind of add a little color and interest in areas where you have like pre-typed journaling and stuff like that. Um, this had a good happy birthday phrase on it that was good sized. Um, Again, this one had a happy and a birthday, even though it's superhero themed, I was just looking for pretty much like phrase stamps. Um, same thing with this one, I liked the happy birthday to you. So that's pretty much everything that I've pulled so far. I am in the process of doing my die cutting right now so that I can kind of start laying everything out and then figuring out what else I need to go looking for in my stash. Um, so from here, I'm going to just get into the process and put you guys on fast forward and talk via a voiceover like usual. Alright, so here you can see that I've got everything laid out and I used papers from the 6x6 to cut the smaller Mickey heads and then I just used the same white textured cardstock that I'm using for my background. I cut out that sort of background frame piece. And that was just something that I created in my studio software. And I flipped it over and I'm just using an old shipping box and I'm going to grab um, one of those oversized coloring sheets to kind of protect my desk. And I decided to just spray the back of it with some sprayable adhesive to kind of make my life a little bit easier. And I'm going to grab another scratch paper just to kind of keep my hands from getting sticky and just make sure that that is really pressed on there good. And then I had taken a picture of everything sort of laid out how I wanted it just so that I would remember where I wanted all those different Mickey heads and kind of the order that I wanted the patterns in. And so I'm going to end up referring back to that to sort of put my layout back together. And for those, I'm not going to bother spraying those. I'm just going to use um, whatever liquid glue is handy on my desk and then before I went and did that I wanted to add some splatters but I I think I only have like white in actual splatter product so I'm just gonna take this black hybrid ink from my favorite things and a paintbrush and I'm just putting sort of flicking it off of an acrylic block and it's not making like big globs of ink I'm gonna zoom in here so you can see it's just making a little bit of a subtle pattern in the background and for me, that's sort of how I prefer if I'm going to do splatters. I kind of just like a more subtle approach to it. And in just kind of adding like a small layer to the background just to kind of make it not be just paper. And then here is when I'm going to go and just pop those, those inside pieces for the Mickey heads back on my layout. And I did want to mention uh, really quickly, I had already reached out to a couple people here on YouTube. Um, Grace Tolman and I are going to be doing this series every month throughout 2017. So each month, probably on the 20th of every month, we're going to be uploading a layout based on a season or a holiday that we celebrate for that month. So if there's any other YouTubers who want to sort of hop along with us, leave me a comment below or get in touch with me if you know me online. 
uh, get in touch with me and let me know that you're interested in doing a hop with us and I can get back with you and just kind of figure out if there's a specific month that you want to do and then hopefully maybe each month besides Grace and I you know we'll have one or two other girls that want to maybe hop along with us so that way on the 20th of every month if you're looking for some holiday or seasonal inspiration there's you know three or four of us that you can kind of hop along and watch videos for and I know I did ask Grace and she said that most of her videos will probably be double page layouts I have not planned that far ahead I'm just gonna kind of um, take it each month and see what happens uh, back to my layout I've got everything attached I trimmed down my smaller collage and then I filled in the spot that I intentionally left blank with some of the same yellow pattern paper and then I typed up my journaling on vellum and attached that over it and then this black scallop strip was one of those old old packs of doodlebug trim which you can see right there and I just wanted to add something over on the left, something to sort of break up it just being the paper over there and kind of almost be like an end cap. So I felt like that worked out pretty good. And then this is pretty much it for the left page. I am going to go ahead and just add a couple phrase stickers, which I'm going through and looking at now. And then I'm going to take a couple of the Mickey heads and add just a little bit of embellishments to them in matching or coordinating colors. I just didn't really want to sort of overwhelm my page with a lot of product and a lot of stuff. I already kind of have a lot going on with my background elements with the big die cut piece and the pattern papers inlaid and stuff like that and I still want the focus to be on my photos and then throughout this layout and the other two for this event sort of on my journaling. My journaling didn't really go into in depth or anything. I just explained that this was her party and we had family over for lunch and that type of thing. So I just pulled out my sequins and my enamel dots and I just kind of looked at what colors I had available and just picked a couple different sequins and stuff to put on some of the Mickey heads just to sort of embellish a few areas around the page. And then I have some of those, it's like a big pack of phrase stickers from Simple Stories. I think it's part of their Snap Studio line. Um, so I just picked one that said Fun Times, but I noticed that they, they have a lot of white space on the sticker, so almost always I will trim them down so that they are a little bit thinner and they look a little better to me. And then I thought about trying to put one of these cute little mini colored paper clips from Doodlebug on my journaling and you'll see me try try to get it to kind of work and for whatever reason I just I wasn't liking sort of how it was roughing up the paper underneath it and I had already committed to putting that glue dot back there and the glue dot ended up pulling up my pattern paper so I went back to my stickers to sort of find a band-aid to kind of cover that up otherwise I probably would have just left it alone but I found this cute little tiny red banner sticker that said love and it was just kind of the right size to sort of cover up that glue dot so that's it as far as anything that I'm going to add to the left page the right page I'm just going to use the same supplies and add a few things on the right side to coordinate with the left I didn't want to leave it as just a 12 by 12 photo collage to me that kind of makes it feel unbalanced and I like having little things here and there to kind of break up all the photos so I'm just using that same red pattern paper that I used for my title and the Mickey heads on the left and I just trimmed it down to fit that area and I believe it was pretty much a 3 by 4 space and then I looked through this pack of cards which I think I'm not sure if these are considered snap or if they were coordinating to the say cheese line but I found one that said the whole gang but I didn't really like the arrow so I'm just gonna take some pierced square stacks dynamics from my favorite things and just trim that down 
and then some of the arrow is still on there but I was already kind of planning on finding some sort of phrase sticker or something to add to it anyways so I'm just gonna allow the sticker to kind of cover up what I wasn't able to cut off and then I had just printed up um, on the same sheet of vellum for my journaling I just also you know I just included a thing that just said um, more photos of family at the party or something like that and then I grabbed one of those Mickey heads that I had die cut that I didn't use in my die cut frame stapled it and then I'm using some enamel dots to kind of help hold that vellum down as well and then I'm just gonna add enamel dots over here to this one photo and then a little phrase and a staple to this other photo and that was pretty much it for the entire page and I've got some photos here of the entire layout and a couple close-ups um, again please leave a comment below if you are interested in hopping with us during this year if you want to take a month and maybe be included in the hop for celebrating different holidays and seasons throughout the year and um, be sure to thumbs up or leave a comment on my video and Grace's video as well if you like the series and you want to see it continue throughout the year. So I will catch you guys next time.